Hello and welcome to We've Already Made This Joke. What, the Will Arnett Mall? Will Arnett Mall. Um, playing Dead Rising, starting a new game. We uh, we started up on his profile, and when we got into it, I was like, wait a minute. We don't want to start with a level 50 account. No. Because that would ruin the game. Mm-hmm. We want to start off as shitty as possible. Yeah, we want to start off with a horrible time. Mm. Horrible time. Did I turn on subtitles? I thought they were automatic. I don't really... remember. I hope so. Because it's basically just star game. I don't think there was even an options thing. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, anyhow, this is one of my favorite game series. The uh, the only achievement I'm missing throughout the entire series right now is the six digits achievement in Dead Rising 2 Off the Record. You mentioned something about research for a story. Which is kill a hundred thousand right. zombies in um, that something big's sandbox mode. That's not even canon. Like that? It's also not even hard. Sure you just have to sit down and do it sometime. TV. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm freelance. Pal. I never even played much of the main story. I just fucked around in a uh, sandbox mode in that game. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I think you told me you only played up to uh, spoiler, spoiler. Yeah. And you thought, wow, that makes total sense. It does. It totally does. Here she is. <laughs> See, there's subtitles. Oh, man. When See, Will Arnett, Colorado. <laughs> Kill that many for an achievement. Shut up. Good thing there's tourists. <laughs> well, not just for an achievement. Yeah. Something super cool that we're not going to earn, because that takes, like, two hours of time. <laughs> Which, I mean, like... If we die and game over completely, I'll do it off camera. <laughs> But, but other than that, which, I, I don't know, I haven't played the first one in a while, and I remember it was moderate in difficulty. Have you played the third one? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> you were basically invincible. You're a fucking superhero walking around. Like, you hardly take damage. Doesn't that take a little bit of the fun away? It takes a lot of the fun away. Thank god it's the game that it is, though, because... Oh boy, if it wasn't Dead Rising. Alright, what were the controls? Good, X is take a picture. Well, I mean, you're only in camera mode right now. No, I know. See, now you don't need to learn the controls. Even though I already figured it out. Oh, what's that? It looks like people are just getting assaulted. Yep, it's a riot out there. It's a riot. Who knows what those things are? You got 90 PP. For a bunch of question marks. You gotta empty out your bladder if you got 90 PP. <laughs> 90 out of 100 PP? Mm hmm. Oh man. Nice. I have to almost PP twice. <laughs> oh, I Let's not it. help this guy. Let's not help any <laughs> Just of these keep people. Taking pictures. Well, by, by the time you get down there, he'd be dead. Yeah, how'd you know? Sure is. Oh. I don't oh, know. Oh, God. He could have gotten down oh, there so before. Horrible. Like, you were you were there for quite a bit. You could have totally saved him. No, he's dead. Like, you really could have saved him. Actually, he's still fine, too. Because they're just being all spoopy about it. Yeah. And now he's dying. Yeah, now he's he dead. He ain't real, he did. Oh man, the school bus. Oh man, look at all these things that we remember because we've played this game before. I don't know what you're talking about. Never played this game. Yeah, it's only one of your favorite series. Right? I don't have all the achievements. Well, you don't. In the entire series, you just oh, said I, so. I, I meant in this game. Which, uh... Shout out to... Some of those were a bitch one to of get. My, yeah, yeah, well, that's... That's what I'm getting to. Shout out to Inhuman Beatdown. Still appreciate the fuck out of that. So what happened? <laughs> Seven Day Survivor. It's an achievement in this game that, if you haven't played it, won't make any sense. Basically, the main story is only three days long. Make sure you get a picture of that. Oh, I'm gonna try. <laughs> that was not worth a lot of points. 
It was perfect, though. Yeah. Because I know how to time things. I mean, you got one. You gotta. You gotta. You know, fucking. Like, you know, empty out your bladder like ten times. <laughs> My pants are already damp. Um, so Seven Day Survivor is in a completely separate game mode called, uh, I think it's just Endless Mode or Infinity mm -hmm. Mode. I don't even remember the name of it. I don't even want to think about it, because I'm still mad. And we're not going to do that. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Like, seriously, no. It's not even hard, it's just time-consuming. Yeah. It's busy work. And you, in that game mode, are constantly losing health. And it's actually really fun if you're not specifically going for the achievements. Oh yeah, it's great if you're just fucking around. And because of that, because you have to survive seven you days... You take a picture at the right time, though. Yep. No, oh, trust me, I know the right time. This isn't it. You better. Uh, I'm gonna try. That would have been a good picture, too. Not yet. Yay. Oh, you want another one? With the zombie falling, too? The perfect moment is as they're falling. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. You said you knew everything! It's the very last thing of this. Could have gotten a thousand points, man. Eh. To empty out your bladder like ten times you get again. A lot more points than that. Like a lot more points than that. There's a lot of hidden shit in this game. That no, it's is crazy. Really easy to find. It's not like you. It's not like you can get points for just taking a picture of a of a latch door from the vents, or anything. Hey, that comes up at least seven times. At least. Hey, it's our main character. Hey. He's covered wars, you know. You gotta be kidding God me. Damn it. Man, you are nuts. But yeah, to finish off the story, I had a gigantic pile of food, and I was just waiting. A friend of mine came over to drop off a PlayStation 2 that he was giving me. And I walked away. And I had a timer on my phone so that I would know when to get back to feed myself. Okay. It had not gone off yet by the time I got back, and I died. I have no idea what happened. I was in an area where zombies could not get to me. I don't know what the fuck happened. Hmm. And it was like the last ten minutes. Like, I had to eat one more time and I was done. <laughs> So it's not like I wasn't used to the time of, hey, I have to eat in blank. Oh, well, yeah. And I was so mad that I paid a friend of mine to do all of it for me again. So Inhuman Beatdown and Dying Worthlessly took turns so you to take care of it for you me. You didn't even earn that achievement. No, I earned it. You didn't even earn... You earned 90% of that achievement. I will earn that right now. No, you won't. I will... Beat the game in two seconds somehow so that I can unlock that mode. Nope. And make it to level 50 with a Mega Buster, no, so it's won't. really easy. Hello there. Huh? <laughs> You're the reporter, aren't you? No. No, I've, I've only wars. covered wars. Came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, going the battlefield alone, no crew. You know, Peter Parker. So, uh, <laughs> what's going on around here anyway? What? He's freelance. He's technically not employed by the Daily Bugle. He's not? No. No, he's not. Huh. <clears throat> never really thought about that. If it were just a riot. Because it was funny, because, you know, like, there was, like, a couple years ago when it actually made news that in comic book canon that Peter, par that Peter got fired from the Daily Bugle. And then the internet nerds was just like, he never even worked for the Daily Bugle. He was freelance. <laughs> Right. It doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Hey, don't steal fucking Fist of the North Star's yeah. quote. Was that out so before why this? Just tell me already. Fifth, Fist of the North Star was like the 80s. I had no idea. Yeah, it's, it's old. Okay. 
I've only seen bits and pieces of that, too. Is that worth seeing all the way through? It's okay. So it's maybe? Good. I mean, it's, it's art. It's definitely showing its age. Um, sometimes that's not a bad thing. Uh, anime in the 80s is, is not pretty, in my opinion. Hmm. Oh, um, I do have one complaint about not exactly this game. <coughs> the Wii version doesn't have a camera. The Wii version is a very stripped-down, bastard port of this game. It sure is. It uses the Resident Evil 4's engine, so it fo completely focuses on gunplay. There's only about half the bosses. Right. And, like, the other half are just souped-up zombies. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's stuff that I didn't know about it that makes it worse. Yeah, I know a lot about that game, because I actually followed it. Because I was excited. Because, you know, I was just like, oh, I, I was really curious to see, like, how they would do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, these things. 100%. What? Fantastic. Don't be ridiculous. Yep. Got the PP again. I'm probably going to collect about half of Oh, wait. It's a big deal. Not really, but okay. It's a cutscene. I think she's like, oh, what's God. going on? Why are these people uh, eating each other? It's not like I've never heard of zombies door. before. Well, this, uh... What? Does this... Do the Walking Dead take on it where, like, zombies don't exist? That's 90% of zombie movies. If you actually, if you actually, like... If you pay attention, unless if, yeah. Unless if they specifically say, like, this, this is just, like, the movies or something like that, it's in a world where zombies have not existed. It has to be, or else people are fu would be fucking retarded. Yeah. And if it's a movie where zombie, uh, zombie movies have existed or zombie lore exists, then an apocalypse would not have happened. Most likely, yeah. Because the government actually does take a lot of step, like all well, the. Uh, There's military training for it, yeah. Yeah. Which is a crazy thought. Well, the center it's for cool, the center the uh, center for disease control actually released a comic. Did they really? About what would happen? Like basically, they treated a zombie apocalypse like a natural disaster, to where you'd go to like a safe zone and all that shit. Yeah, which is what you'd do anyways. Yeah, but a lot of people are stupid. In, in uh, zombie movies. That's true. And then, you know, in... Because <clears throat> 90% of the time in zombie movies, it's already after the apocalypse had happened. Yeah. It's never when the apocalypse happens. Right. Because writers don't know how to write. Like... I've, well, I shouldn't say that, because that would honestly take a shit on writers, but... It's on. It is hard to write that kind of scenario because the military would be all over that. Well, um, have you watched *Fear the Walking Dead* at all? I didn't care for it. Okay, that actually does that. I know. But still, a lot of time, like, it's just those scenarios are unbelievable because. Someone would have wised up by then, by you know. Yeah. What? what you do, you fucking do quarantines and shit like that. Take a look out there. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, you treat it like any infection. Yeah. You do like no fly list. You do hey, none of this shit. Real quick, if those weren't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them. Um, uh, biters, biters, now. walkers, <laughs> walker, Texas Rangers, creepers. Creepy crawlies. Creepers, stalkers, what was the... Uh, rotters? Necromorphs. Necromorphs. Undead. Zombozos. Redeads. Um... Um, um, zombonies. Hamboning? I don't know. Hamboning. Hamboning. It'll save your life one day. It'll save my life right now. It'll save her life, too. It'll just save everyone's life. You just gotta hand bone this whole time. I have to do it hard enough. Mm -hmm. I have to want it. Hello, all these people oh, that man. are totally gonna survive this apocalypse. Totally. And it's all the ladies' at fault. Least, at least five of them. And whoa, spoilers. 
You don't know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. And we'll get about. to that next time on the Nerd Couch. While we view some pictures? Yeah, I, I figured we'd go out with a picture, like in every episode. The picture that you fucked like, up on? Hey, this happened. Sure, which one? The splat? <laughs> let's, let's go out on the splat. On the splat. Catch you guys in the next episode.